yesterday. Fireworks in Tissot. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Good defense just covering up down low. The kid's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And now a well-placed hook to the head. When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw like we see here tonight, Teddy, that right jab is right up against his jab. That's absolutely right. And you know what? That's a great point because there lies maybe the greatest advantage for the southpaw because now the orthodox fighter doesn't feel comfortable using his jab. It doesn't land. It doesn't have the clearance that it usually has. And therefore, he doesn't use it, and he hurts himself. The kid's corner is going to be all over him to improve that defense. His opponent is scoring well. Two solid hooks to the body. Halfway through this round. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. What? Kelly's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Watch him take his jab. Throw the jab. Air it away. The pack. Bang. Here we go. Round two is underway. Good one, too, by Billy Dib. Nice block. The kid's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Good smooth work by Billy Dib. That's classic counter punching. And yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Kelly's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Nice work. Nice work. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> Halfway through this round here. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Kelly's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Kelly's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. The kid's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Wow, look at that, trading shots. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. And that's the end of round two. Kelly's ability to get to his man paid off well there. He damaged him in that round. Dib's punch didn't come close. Straight right, left hook, very nicely done, scoring up top. Nice strike after catching one by Kevin Kelly. Kelly's defense is paying off now. 
Good job on the two punch combo by Billy Dibb. Jab right hand. Kelly's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. You're doing great. Good block. Kelly's combination punching is working well here. Non-stop energy from both guys in this round. The final minute is here. Kelly's hit by a counter punch there. That straight right unable to connect. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Kelly's easily winning this fight just based on his hand and foot speed. He's getting in and out with ease. And what his opponent needs to do is control range so he gets it down to where his opponent is shadow boxing. Yeah, he's got fast hands, but it doesn't matter if you're not standing in front of him to use them. Right now, he's standing in the wrong place. Start of round number four. Easy scorecard to put together. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Oh, and he stays downstairs. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Dips his legs, looks shaky. He was hurt. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Nice two-punch combo by Billy Dibb. Kelly's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch score. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. How about that? Another right hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. You're not focusing. Now he ties up there. Dibs is scoring with that right hand. Kelly's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Dibs showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Kelly's right hand working well that time. He scored well. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Carries the punch, puts one in there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Kelly's landed a good, solid combination. He just missed that shot up top. Dibs' opponent's probably looking at him right now saying, wow, you're not changing anything up. You know, he got to him moments ago. Now, he's got the same style that he's looking at again. Yeah, but he got to him moments ago. Got to him one time. I think right now it's too early to all of a sudden throw everything out the window. But look for an adjustment if things don't change. If he can't get away from those punches, if he keeps having problems, he gets stunned again. 
then you might have to look for a change. You might have to make a change if you're going to survive. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Billy Dib. Harry brings a jab right hand. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. And another jab comes in by Billy Dib. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Too many punches. Hands up. Dib's proving to be elusive. Kelly's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. The end to another very inner.